No, we proved identity identity. We had to show that uniqueness. By the identity identity property, we have alpha plus t equal to t plus alpha equal to alpha. Where t is called identity identity of alpha, right? Now we'll prove the uniqueness. Let one more number which is belongs to complex number. Let it be theta. One more identity. So alpha plus theta equal to theta plus alpha equal to alpha. Right? So observe this one and this one. T plus alpha equal to alpha but which is equal to theta plus alpha. So that is a T plus alpha equal to theta plus alpha. So theta, T equal to theta which means if you take one more additive identity we are getting that both are equal which shows that uniqueness of identity. Right? Now we will see the third property that is that additive inverse exists and uniqueness. Let alpha equal to a comma b and if we show that alpha plus some alpha let it be alpha dash equal to alpha dash plus alpha equal to the additive identity then alpha dash is called additive inverse of alpha. Alpha equal to a comma b we consider and we know that uh, additive identity is uh, 0 comma 0 and let it be alpha dash as minus a minus b. We'll find out the value of alpha plus alpha dash that is alpha value is a comma b plus alpha dash value is what minus a minus b. This is in addition we know that in addition we can add corresponding elements that is a minus a b minus b. So what is the value 0 comma 0 which is nothing but additive identity t only. So alpha plus alpha dash equal to t. Similarly what is the value of alpha dash plus alpha? Alpha dash value we have minus a minus b plus alpha value is a comma b with complex numbers in addition we have add both minus a plus a minus b plus b. This is 0 comma 0 which is nothing but added to identity t that is alpha dash plus alpha. Right? Observe alpha plus alpha dash value is t alpha dash plus alpha value is t. From these two we can say that alpha plus alpha dash equal to alpha dash plus alpha equal to t. So this is alpha dash is called additive inverse of alpha. Now we will prove the uniqueness of additive inverse. We will prove the uniqueness of additive inverse. Let one more element that is uh, let it be alpha double dash belongs to complex number which satisfies alpha plus alpha double dash equal to alpha double dash plus alpha equal to t. Here alpha dash is additive inverse alpha dash is also added to inverse right now we for proving that uniqueness we have to prove that alpha dash equal to alpha double dash observe these two values both are same rhs part that is alpha dash plus alpha equal to t alpha double dash plus alpha equal to t observe this rhs part both are same so we can equate LHS and here we can cancel alpha alpha. So alpha dash equal to alpha double dash right which means in complex numbers additive inverse exists and which is unique and which is unique and we'll see that last property this additive inverse is additive is commutative property additive inverse additive property is in complex numbers additive is com commutative. Consider two complex numbers. So let alpha comma beta belongs to two complex numbers. If you want to show that commutative we have to prove alpha plus beta equal to beta plus alpha. Let alpha equal to a comma b beta equal to c comma d. Alpha plus beta value is what? A comma B plus C comma D. It is a, what is the addition of these two complex numbers? A plus C comma B plus D. This is the value of alpha plus beta. Let it be star. 
and what is the value of beta plus alpha? Beta value is C comma D plus alpha value is A comma B. Addition of these two, C plus A comma D plus B. Let it be double star. Observe this star and double star. Both are same. RHS is same. So we can equate LHS. That implies alpha plus beta equal to beta plus alpha, which is called commutative property. Right? In complex numbers, additive satisfies associative. Additive identity exists and which is unique. Additive inverse exists and which is unique. And commutative property satisfies.